In our national lead now, after years of peddling the vicious and evil lie that the Sandy Hook massacre was a hoax, Alex Jones is now struggling to defend himself from lawsuits. In a newly released deposition for one of those defamation suits from some of the families of the victims, we're seeing for the first time the InfoWars host on tape and under oath, struggling to demonstrate any remorse to the loved ones of those who were killed and even offering more by way of deluded conspiracy theories. I am not the only person to question Sandy Hook. Conspiracy theorist and professional liar Alex Jones swore to tell the truth in this recent three-hour deposition. It was seemingly an uncomfortable spot for the InfoWars founder who shared the revolting lie with millions of his followers that the deaths of 20 first graders and six educators at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012 was a hoax prompting his followers to harass the grieving families, whom he smeared as coached actors. Don't ever think this couldn't be staged. Jones is now being sued by some victims' families. He's talking to lawyers instead of fans, and it seems he's struggling to explain. What does staged mean? I, I'm just asking you what you were telling your audience. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm not answering your questions, Mr. Jones. You're going to tell me what staged oh, means when you said it. Some of the grieving families were harassed so much they were forced to move homes. And last week, one of those harassed Sandy Hook parents, Jeremy Richmond, father of Aviel, took his own life. A conspiracy theorist boosted by Jones repeatedly falsely claimed Aviel was still alive. Jones, in his March 14th deposition, blamed his false conspiracy theory on psychosis. And I, you know, I myself have you know, almost had like a form of psychosis back in the past where I basically thought everything was staged. You know, I've now learned a lot of times things aren't staged. I'm already in Whether you think his is the face of evil or delusion, Jones has made a fortune with lies such as these, claiming Sandy Hook and 9-11 were inside jobs, attacking mainstream media outlets, millions of dollars earned by feeding people's worst fears with lies. And through it all, Jones has managed to host more mainstream figures, from Lou Dobbs. The majority in this country is simply ignored. Two, in December 2015, in the midst of Jones's Sandy Hook smears, a certain presidential candidate. Your reputation's amazing. I will not let you down. You will be very, very uh, impressed, I hope. And I think we'll be speaking a lot. This is modern global corporate colonialism. In 2018, many social media platforms and several radio stations banned Jones and Infowars. In the defamation suit, Jones tried blaming his woes on Hillary Clinton. This is all just cold-blooded, uh, you know, a fit because Hillary lost the election. So you, do you think I work for Hillary Clinton or something? Or George Soros gives me money or something like that? Well, I mean, I know this. is when Hillary lost, a light switch went on. I've never been sued, and I got sued a bunch. Theoretically restricted by his oath to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, Jones, laid bare before the world, still cannot see the damage he has done. My opinions have been wrong, but they were never wrong consciously to hurt people. Jones also faces two other lawsuits by parents of children killed at Sandy Hook. Those cases each seek $1 million in damages for mental stress, anguish, and psychological pain suffered due to Jones' coverage of the shootings.